Game on. This is nip and tuck. This is a Harley Street plastic surgeon. Yeah, it could be. It looks like it is, but 60. Sort of a, a must winner here for Kevin. I think to level the level the match or. Simon is a sort to just sort of start bullying him entirely, especially since he's showing his scoring finesse and his finishing power. 140. Or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> well, four 180s for Simon Whitlock in that first set. That's the first maximum for Kevin Painter of the match. I juxtaposed my adjectives there, Dave. Did you? Yeah. I, I thought you were just shifting in your seat. Well, yeah, something was catching. <laughs> but 43. It's Kevin who's bullied Simon into only hitting 43. Well, both will be fully aware of what Arsenal the other possesses here. And that, that plays on your mind when you're up on the hockey. You have to make every dart count, and thus by doing that, you put more pressure 60. on yourself. I mean, you require 121. For a 12 dart game, perhaps, to hold his throw. Could just stay at 20s. Doesn't need to finish it. Simon, 258. He's got 86, so 54 would leave 32. 53. He's working his way down, but uh, don't want to get too relaxed. Now, the psychology here in this set, Simon. He could live with losing the set, and that's sort of a bad thing for him because he's probably a little too relaxed. Whereas Kevin knows he needs to win it. Uh, doesn't he just? Double 16 then. 52. So I'm going to 133. Not far off, but far enough. Shake of the head from Kevin Painter. Well, Whitlock there. He's going all on 19, sir. Baffles me sometimes 16. with his finishing, but he has a plan and he sticks to it. Well, that was definitely the down under attack plan. He wanted two double 19s after hitting the treble. And Kevin needs double four, double two. And the first one. That's just around the houses. You wonder if perhaps Kevin he was a little distracted there. Just sometimes a guy makes a weird kind of a shot ahead of you. If you're th watching and thinking about it, that could be a distraction. It takes you out of your own shot. But, but, but tell us, why, why would you go to double 19s that way? Well, if you get the first one in, it's easy to follow. That is my only answer for you on that. Yeah. I, don't, I would never do it. I assume it's the sort of thing you practice, or you just decide, right, this is the way I'm going to go for it. Well, I bet Simon practices going around the board on doubles where he has to get two or three in at a time to move on. So it's probably something he's very used to. In which case, it kind of makes perfect sense. As does that, a fifth 180 for Simon Whitlock. 44. Well, it's starting to seem 60. to me and probably to Kevin that uh, winning this set he started is not going to be just an easy thing to do. He's going to have to hold his throw probably every time because Simon not giving in on his. 92. No, but do you start then with a mindset that, right, I've got. We will go to five legs. I've got the throw first in three of those legs. And I just concentrate on those legs and what happens in the other two 60. happens and it's not going to bother so me. You yeah, but when you win the first leg, you're hoping to get a run. You know, just break them once and you can win 3 0. Mm -hmm. Whitlock is staying on 25 to leave tops. 50. And there was no real emergency there. That's why he chose that way. Now he's on a number he can certainly deal with when he comes back. 81. So you Only 81 from Kevin Painter. He's not put the pressure on this double top that he would have wanted. Maybe resigned to defeat in this leg. And he is now. The as so Whitlock good. levels up. The leg Kevin to throw first. Game on. See, the thing that Simon will be thinking now and realizes is that 
He's got a very good. She's got two chances to break Kevin and thus probably win the set. Go up to nil. Which would be very powerful. Indeed. And then we'll see what Kevin Paints is really made of. Kevin still not seeding that yet. I don't think. Not at all, but where it all went very well for him indeed against Paul Nicholson. Right, despite playing a little below par in the opening set, he uh, took it and went on to a 4 0 victory. Now Painter has got to start digging that a little bit deeper. 85. Well, there, Kevin getting errant darts left and right. He's Starting position of the leg. And, and is that just because he's forcing it that little bit too much? Is that. We get the error done. Probably he's feeling a little under pressure. He's, he's never been behind like this, right? So, and in this tournament. 60. So many requirements. 164. Looking up to the uh, skies there. Not going his way at all. Another trouble 19 for Simon Whitlock. Leaves the bullseye for a break. Great a bit of shine off the wire. Kevin Painter has it all to do and pitching just short with that first start. Whitlock will return for what could be a key breaker 85. throw here. So when you require 25. It's double eight then. To break and it's done. Uh, Kevin rightfully so shaking his head. Paul Blake Simon to he knows the importance first. there. It's a huge task. Kevin really needs to get, like I said, really a 12 or an 11 dart game out here and break straight back. Yeah. His chances in the match are dependent upon it. 60. And that's what he needs as well. Just that doesn't hurt seeing that ahead of you. Yeah. Although maybe you see that and you press too hard. But nope. Great first dart. And he'll come back from, from the board there and think 95. That should have been more. That should have been 140. Well, he's just got to think to himself, Kevin Painter, just one treble, not that one, would have been all I need. But he can still do this, treble 19, double 19. Oh dear. 54, Simon, so you require 18. And now Simon Whitlock, double nine needed then for a second set. Clear daylight between himself and Kevin Painter. And the clear daylight is there for all to see. And Simon Whitlock really does mean business. Painter's off the stage while Whitlock's still giving it the big celebration. But the Aussie is riding the crest of a wave here.
surfs up. What's up for Bainter? He trails by two sets to nil.